I just want to put in the beginning of this video a very, very vivid disclaimer. I'm not trying to brag at all in any way, shape, or form. I just know majority of my audience are equestrians and I thought you might enjoy seeing this. I'm completely aware that this is absolutely absurd amount of stuff <laughs> and is not in any way shape or form normal but I promise you this is not ever happened like we've never bought this much stuff um but things get worn down they get broken you know what horses are like um and I just thought you might want to see it but I just want to say I'm very thankful that I'm able to buy these things and have the horses I have I just want to make that very clear I would not want to come off in a bad way Welcome back to my channel. It is a Saturday and it is 5 50 p.m. Um, this morning I was at Kate Marie's house and I've been vlogging a little bit so there'll be a vlog either before or after this video um, and then I had lessons from 2 30 until 4 30 but today I have a huge unboxing but my trainer insisted that all the people is barn um new stuff for shows which is, makes complete sense so that it, like matches and then we had to get like fly sheets and like lead ropes and just like new stuff you know horses break things and things get worn down really quickly at a barn so we just kind of restocked everything so it looks a little crazy, not gonna lie, but I figured I'd show you because it might be something you're interested in. But before we get on the video, don't forget to subscribe down below. We have a lot of stuff in this Amazon box. Black lead ropes. Next, from Dope. Here we have a 52 sized girth and it is the professional's choice girths. These are really popular, but um, they already have one, but I guess he wanted different ones for showing and hacking because they get really nasty. This is another package from Dover, but I can't show you the front because it has my girl. Looks like it's been run over black saddle pads we have um really nice like these are like the round ones we have those really nice like square rectangular-ish um, saddle pads that have the bar name on it and then our last name so Schillingford. but those are for like showing so like if you're going in the jumpers or something or packing for some big thing okay two black saddle pads this big box from dope we use polos all the time. We don't use boots unless like um, you're going into like the McClay or something and you have like the hard boots on, you know, with the straps. But the reason I have um, two of everything is so that Nick and Chino both have one. So two sets of brand new white polos, two sets of maroon shipping wraps, two things of black polo wraps. This is like insane. Two riding um, fly masks. Then <laughs> we have two sets of black shipping wraps. Then we just have one set of bell boots because Chino has specific bell boots, so we had to get them. They're more expensive, but he's really bad rubs above, like on his feet. And so these just rub them and make them terrible. So he got special ones, but I don't mind because the poor thing can't help that. My mom either ordered four things of black polos or they sent us two. So I'm gonna have to go ask her. Um, uh, <laughs> now these a lot of people use I'm pretty sure and I definitely think they're worth their money. They're the ca Camisole, I think that's how you say it, half pads. So they look really nice because they're black and they're not like big and puffy, but they're really nice um, on your horse and they're like gel kind of feel. Big, huge box. But this, oh you can't see it, this is from Farm Vet. Oh my gosh. It is filled with shipping wraps. Don't get me wrong, these are very nice shipping wraps. I think that's only like like one or two though in each. And they have four legs, so it makes sense. I <laughs> think I know what's in this. I'm not completely sure. Oh, this one's packaged nicely. Huh. We have two fly sheets. Which um, are white, so <laughs> I can guarantee you the minute we put these on, they'll go and roll in the mud. But <laughs> it'll look nice for like five minutes. I'll try and take a picture and put it in one of my vlogs sometimes. So, <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for this video. I just want to 
state again. I am very, very grateful to be able to buy this stuff and it is absolutely crazy. But I hope someone enjoyed um, watching. Sorry about this terrible lighting too. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down below. I post normally a couple times a week. It just kind of depends on horse videos and we should be showing hopefully soon. We might be going to Kentucky if it is open as, as of right now they're saying it is, but I'm not quite sure. Who knows, but we're going to Junior Hunter Finals in Devon. Once again, if that goes ahead. Um, and then I also just post like random regular vlogs, non-horse related. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all in my next video. Staring at the West Coast, staring at the place unknown.